Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create a resume that will get you hired. And for this, we are going to use a solution that's both user friendly and also guarantees you a professional result. Okay, so let's get started. Okay guys, so for this, we're going to use Beam Jobs. And as you can see with it, you can create a modern professional resume in 12 minutes. So what are the main features and benefits? Well, again, you can craft a resume that gets you hired. So this is the most important part, obviously. And also you can take the guesswork out of your resume. So this is basically a professional online resume builder that aims to get you hired. So to get started, all you have to do is click on this big button here, create my resume now. And then from here, we need to select our template. So let's pretend that we're going to apply for a job as a web developer or maybe web design or something like this. Okay, so let's scroll down the page and let's find something. So as you can see, you have the title here. So this one is elegant. This one is standard, professional, official. And then you have the small description here, resume with a lot of content. And this one here, professionals eager to stand out. This one, jobs that require formal resumes three plus years experience and so on. So they all have a specific purpose, obviously, you know. So this one here is modern, so jobs that encourage creativity. So this could be a nice fit for us. So let's use this, okay? So use template. And now we have to choose among four different options. So how would you like to start? So choose an industry, upload an existing resume, import your LinkedIn profile, or start with a blank document. So this, these are quite uh, interesting features. Import your LinkedIn profile. This is very nice, actually, you know upload an existing resume uh, in our case let's go with uh, choosing an industry okay so let's click on this and go look for something related to web so what do we have well quite a few options here so we have back-end web developer entry-level web developer freelance web developer front-end web developer what do you have web designer uh, generic here web and graphic designer senior web developer and junior web developer so we can select any of those basically so depending on your uh, level of experience select any of them so i'm just going to go with uh, this one here as an example the very first one you know so let's click on this and you have a quick preview as well so you know exactly what it looks like so if you're not happy with it you can close that and select another one so maybe this one here is maybe more suited to your uh, liking you know and maybe you prefer some layouts and not others you know so again it's a matter of taste and preferences so i'm just going to go with the very first one here as an example uh, no preference at all and then that's basically it so i select this one and then use this resume very good so this is our main resume builder and as you can see here on top we have everything related to templates, to the spacing, to the font, uh, the theme and colors. And also here by the side, all the different sections. So we have skills, work experience, education, contact. And we even have a score, as you can see here. So if you click on this button here, improvement, this is one of the nice features, actually. You know, and let me show you immediately. As you can see here, quantify your impact. So your work experience bullet point should contain metrics. And here, avoid filler words. So your resume includes unnecessary filler adverbs. So that's all nice and all, but what does that mean exactly? Well, if you click on any of those, you get an actual example, okay? So if you scroll down it, you can see this is before and after. So what should it be? So at the moment, we have worked with product and marketing to implement A-B testing on landing page. And this is how we should have it actually implementing A-B testing on landing page to increase likelihood of customer conversion by 14% approximately $90,000 in new monthly revenue. So this is very specific as you can see. And the same with this one and this one. So these are examples that we can follow. So if you go back here now again, let's close this one and let's go to the avoid filler words. And again, we have an example here. So before and after. So successfully designed and launched technical project in alignment with organizational goals which had a large impact. And to be honest, you would see that very often in a CVs and resumes, you know, and this is normally how it should be. So oversaw technical project in alignment with organization goals that drove over 4 million in annual revenue. So this is more specific, obviously, you know, and this obviously from the employer's point of view is more enticing because they know that they'll get their money back. You know, they can invest in you because they guarantee that you're going to drive at least 4 million in revenue or maybe something similar so right here we have the section of our resume that's causing an issue so where is it exactly on our resume well you don't have to read everything all you have to do is click edit 
and it will show you exactly where it is okay so now we can replace this with something else and as you can see by default it will give you a few examples here that you can use but we're just going to type away here so i just uh, came up with something so let's try this together so let's find out if it's good or not okay so what you can do is basically this now we can exit out of that and now we can recalculate so let's click on this here and see if we have improved it so it is gone up a little bit and go back to improvement all so the fill awards are gone now and now we have quantified your impact and as you can see this is the issue that we're having at the moment so we have to be more specific so again let's click on edit so where is this is right here so now i'm going to replace this with something else okay so Control c Control v and as you can see now resulting in a revenue increase of 21% and 40.2 increase in CTR. So click through rate. So this should be more specific, obviously, you know. So now we can recalculate. So 89, so that's gone up. So let's go back to the overall score. So this is done. This is done. So what issue do we have? The resume length. So this is too short, okay? So obviously, so we can close this for now. I'm going to show you how you can uh, increase the, the length of your uh, resume. So at the moment, what do we have? Uh, contact name education skills and work experience so it's just one page so as a back-end web developer maybe you want to show some of your projects or maybe some certifications that you have so some diploma or something like this you know to uh, increase your chances of getting hired so how can you do so if you go back to the top as you can see you can add sections as well so I'll click on this and here you can select among all these different options as you can see of projects with objectives as well certifications activities you know and build your own so this is whatever you want here so maybe you have a github account or something like this that you'd like to mention a few projects that you've worked on or something like this you know so let's add maybe project here uh, as an example and perhaps as well build your own and this you're going to use for something very specific maybe github or something like that so now that we've added our sections let me show you how you can customize the content of your resume so you can either click on those sections and start typing away so let's say this is albana kelmedi and your name is actually david Gary, okay so you can type away or you can go here immediately in those sections you can fill out those fields here and this will obviously reflect on your resume so as you can see I have a quick preview here so you can disable that or not i personally think it's pretty handy especially the expand feature here you can zoom in and see the finished product so this is very handy isn't it so right here as you can see have the social link so how does this work so this is actually great because this is going to be sent to your employer via PDF file, which means you can have a hyperlink attached to them immediately. So if you click on this, so as you can see, we have LinkedIn, GitHub, Facebook, Twitter, and your website as well. So I'm just going to add our website here for so mrweb.tv and also here LinkedIn, we're going to keep that, okay? So as you can see, we're going to expand uh, for a second. You can see here we have a hyperlink. But how does this work? Because it's not displaying here. So it took me a little while to figure this out. But let me show you. It's actually very simple. So if you go back to format and download, if you click on the link, double click on it, as you can see, I have the link here. You can edit this from here. So here you're going to type linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash and then your handle. So I'm going to put here David Garrett as an example and then enter. That's it. Now you have a new uh, link directly to your uh, LinkedIn account, as you can see immediately here. OK, so if you go back here, um, we go back to contact, go back to social links. I'm going to add MrWeb.tv as well. And as you can see, at the moment, it is not showing. It's only LinkedIn showing. So as you can see, you have a little eye here. So click on this. Very good. And now let's add the hyperlink to this. And again, we go back to format and download. Click on Mr. Web here and then add the hyperlink. So Mr. Web.tv and then enter. Very good. And now we have those linked to our actual landing pages. Excellent. So now let's improve the length of our resume. So remember, it was one of those points we needed to address. So let's scroll down. So we have the projects here. So what I'm going to do basically, I'm using ChatGPT as for two examples. So what I'm going to do is just basically copy and paste this now. Very good. So that's done now. So let's have a quick look. So as you can see, projects. This one is e commerce platform backend development and content management system development so this is basically with all description so now let's try again recalculate our score 
and see if it's improved very good 97 so this is almost perfect so this is great now we have the build your own here so here you can add whatever you want you know something maybe related specifically to the web development industry so perhaps you attended a few events or maybe some conferences or something like this related to coding and programming which you would like to highlight here so i ask again chat gpt for a few examples so we have hackathons uh, code camps and maybe open source events like uh, OSCON, you know, or something like this. Maybe you want to highlight this on your uh, resume. So maybe you can call this events I attended or something like this. Okay, and here we have the bullet points. So I'm going to copy and paste them here very quickly. So there you go, perhaps something like this, you know, two or three of them. So let's have a quick look now. So I just scroll down, as you can see, there it is. Events I attended, Hackathon, Code Camps, Google I.O. and OSCON. So this is going to add, obviously, to your uh, knowledge and experience. And then if you scroll down with the project, so this seems to be just about perfect. Oh, very good. So that's just done with all the different sections. Now let's take care of the general look and layout of our resume. So as you can see, I have the template here. So we selected the one initially, but you can swap and go for another one altogether. So if you don't feel like uh, displaying this one and change for something else, you can easily do so. And, and see what it looks like okay so you can try this one as an example as you can see a different feel but it will look very professional still so let's go back to the initial one we had so this is the one we had and as you can see you have all these colors here yellow and all that you can easily change that as well and change your accent color so it's orange at the moment maybe you want something red maybe you want a purple maybe blue so as you can see you can easily change those colors using this feature here you can change your font as well because obviously your font is going to give a different feel but personally i would keep it very simple because you have you need a font that's easy to read obviously you know so let's try laura here as an example and immediately as you can see it gives your resume a totally different feel so now obviously depending on the type of industry and company you want to work with uh, you might try different things okay so let's go back to the initial one i think that looks very professional and then there's one more feature i'd like to show you is to the rearrange the section so let's say uh, you want it to have maybe events i attended first and then the skills afterwards or maybe the other way around how can you do so it's very easy like i said we click on this button here rearrange sections and now you can simply drag and drop them so let's say if i wanted to put this one first and boom just like this very easy and you can do the same with those main sections here as well you know so either way is fine so i'm just going to put it back the way it was uh, i think it's better like this anyways you know and once you're done all you have to do is click on this button here download pdf very good as you can see here for the price of a cup of coffee 2.99 you have 14 days full access and then you can tweak your resume around and uh, work on it as you see fit or you can go for the monthly access and this is $6.99 and you save 77%.